morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabeo with your morning digital news brief for Saturday, March 27th. Two people have been shot to death in Burlington County. Police made the discovery at the Orchard Park apartment complex on Wood Lane Road in Edgewater Park around 1 o'clock. The Burlington County Prosecutor's Office has been notified. Philadelphia police are looking for the person who shot two children riding a moped, killing one of them. That shooting happened on McKinley Street in Oxford Circle around 6.30 last night. Police say the 11 and 14-year-olds were shot during an apparent drive-by shooting. It's not yet clear if they were the intended targets. And the partial collapse of a retaining wall along a busy stretch of a South Jersey highway will keep some lanes closed through the weekend. That collapse happened on Thursday at the intersection of routes 295 and 42 near exit 28 in Belmar. Construction of a new over overpass has been in the works there recently. Now to the eyewitness with the forecast. Here's meteorologist Matt Peterson. Hi, Matt. Hey there, Jan. Going to be a good one for us. Our Saturday today, a great spring afternoon. 69 degrees in the city with plenty of sunshine, low humidity, nice quiet winds. Down the shore, a little bit cooler, 60 degrees there, 61 in the Poconos. But again, with plenty of sunshine, we're going to call it a great day in the Pocono Mountains. Overnight tonight, clouds start to increase. Our temperatures stay pretty mild as well, for the most part, in the low 50s as we start to get ready to prime the area for some change. Chances for some showers and some thunderstorm activity as we head through the day tomorrow. So let's jump ahead to Sunday morning. This is 5 a.m. Showers already developing across the region. We're going to even see the chance for some brief pockets of heavier downpours here through Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Even a rumble of thunder could be possible. Then we'll get a little bit of a break in the action as we get from about noon to four. But during that time, what we'll see is the atmosphere really start to prime itself. It's hot. It's humid. And that will be a perfect recipe for some strong to even severe weather to occur as our cold front, which around 4 o'clock is still out to the west. It will slide through as we head to around 6 o'clock or so in the afternoon and the evening. That's when it, when it will be right across the I-95 quarter and a lot of the immediate suburbs. During that time, strong gusty winds and heavier downpours will be likely. That front gets down towards the Jersey Shore and clears the coast as we get into the evening. When it comes to severe weather chances tomorrow, yes, we do have some. Light green shading, that is our marginal risk from about I-78 down towards central Delaware. That is a one out of five on our severe outlook. Dover and south, central and southern Delaware, slight risk, two out of five. That is where we have the better chance to see those strong gusty winds and, yes, even a potential for uh, maybe a spin-up tornado. We're going to have to really watch our system tomorrow as that front works its way through. Otherwise, we're talking about about a half inch to an inch of rain. Some pockets within those uh, heavier downpours could see an inch and a half to even two inches of rain. So a lot to talk about for our Sunday. But today, again, 69 degrees for the high, 71 for Sunday afternoon, Jan. We start the work week out at only 55 with sunshine. It'll be a little bit breezy out there, 65 by Tuesday. And then Thursday is not only the start of the Philly season, but it's April 1st, but 47 degrees mm. with a shower. Not the greatest way to start no. the month of April. Cooling down a bit next week. All right, Matt, thank you. And remember, you can always get the latest news and weather headlines right here on CBSPhilly.com. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.